Hi second graders, today's activity is one of my favorites that we've done so far because um, to do it I went to the store and I bought lots and lots of candy because today we're going to take different types of candy and see their different melting points. So if you want to try this at home, then I'm giving you special permission to go out and get <laughs> a bunch of candy. You can tell mom and dad. Is for science. So I've got a bag of gummy worms. I've got caramels. This is caramel chews. Starbursts. And M&Ms. Okay, and then I also have a bowl of hot water. And I'm basically just going to put every single one of these candies in the hot water okay I have a spoon with me so I can try to submerge it I want to push them down beneath the surface and I have my phone to be my timer here I'm just gonna set a timer for two minutes and after two minutes I'm gonna take them out and see what our candy looks like Okay, my alarm went off. I'm going to check it out. The way to tell if something is melted. Well, I want to look. Can I squish it? Yep. And does the shape of my object change? So this is my starburst. This has been two minutes in heat, hot water, and it's pretty squishy. This is my end result. Okay. Let's look at the M&M's. Okay. This one. Okay, well, they're easy to crush. Although, they would be easy to crush even if it wasn't in hot water. Okay. So, no surprise, the M&M's crushed are... Now, it's pretty liquidy. The heat has made it pretty liquidy. If you want to try this and you don't have M&Ms, maybe you have um, chocolate chips. Just something, some candy that's chocolate, you're gonna get this kind of result. Okay, these are the gummy worms. Okay, this, gummy worms are squishy anyway, but I'm squishing them and they're still maintaining their shape of wor <laughs> worms. <laughs> Okay, my last one, caramels. These change their shape really easily and are squishy. So if I compare my different candies and the caramels, I would say this is medium squish, medium melting, my gummy worms, very low melting. This is my lowest chocolate, high, high melting. And I would say Starburst is the same as the caramels. Pretty squishy, but it's not liquid form the way the chocolate is. And the gummy worms are almost unchanged. So... If I wanted to extend this experiment, I could put them back in the hot water, try for a longer amount of time, see how long it takes, maybe for the gummy worms to become almost liquidy, the way that the chocolate did. You can try this with any types of candy. It's fun to just see which candies have different melting points, the same way ice has a way uh, lower melting point than say glass or metal or plastic. You have to get it to, you have to heat it up more for it to become in that liquid category. So when we try it with candy, we notice chocolate has the lowest melting point or melts the easiest. Um, caramel and Starburst, I would say, had the medium melting point, and gummy worms had the highest melting point. Okay, let me go how it goes for you. And, um, the best part is, I only used 
a few pieces of candy in each bag, which means I get to eat the rest. 